Hi everyone, welcome back to the Oggy Overhaul. This is lesson, or a little bit of a short lesson, so it is number seven and a half. Yeah, 7.5. 7.5, if you watch the other 5. one which I eventually made Matt crack up on, so yeah. we're now gonna just do uh, a, mini, a mini episode about it's very quick keeping your head in the right sort of place. Yeah, yeah, quick tip. yeah, and if you didn't watch the previous one, Watch um, it now. Yeah, watch it now, obviously. So rewind, <laughs> unclick this one on back to number seven. Mm -hmm. uh, but my point with this to you, John, was no one's head ever stays perfectly still. It's unrealistic, but less is more. Sure. And the comments we had from f some of your viewers was, you seem to be bobbing up and down quite a bit during the swing. Yep. So maybe a couple of just simple exercises to make it less. Okay. But that doesn't detract from the fact that previous lesson we did was the best one you had. Uh, absolutely, so yeah. And I really good. enjoyed that lesson. Yeah. I got an awful Perfect. lot of confidence from it. Yeah. So. so if you just hold cam that camera for okay. one second, okay. if you come round to my right side, we found a wall perfectly positioned ready. Um, I'm going to get you to measure one of your feet away from the wall. You're then going to take your golf pose and posture. Now, Quick one on posture, knees forward, hips back, shoulders forward, guess what happens to your head? If you've got a good posture, your hair shall be just touching the wall. If you've head butted the wall, you've gone too far forward, so don't head butt the wall. Okay. But I think most people, if they measured a foot away from the wall, would tend to find that their weight's more here. Yeah. What I like to see is try and get the weight more in front of you. I like the idea that your arms should just hang underneath your shoulders and that's a more natural position. If you did start back here, for example, yes, you could get the club down to the ball, but you're almost having to force the club away from you. If I can get my arms to hang, they're more likely to come back to the same place. But the whole point of this, and you're gonna have a quick go at this, is when I demonstrate a golf swing, I like the feeling my head stays as close to this wall as possible during the swing before I look up to see where it goes. In my mind, an inconsistent swing is a setup that's always different, for starters. A backswing that's always different all the time you're doing different swings and more importantly the impact position is a long way away from where they started so just to keep it simple and it really is a um, i know it always ends up more than one minute there's a one minute tip knees forward hips back shoulders forward your head touches the wall eventually i would like to see less and less movement with your head to the wall no one's head stays perfectly still no less is more and it will make you aware of how much movement you're making okay yep. let's swap places okay, so like that one place yeah yeah just there see i always i know again we go back to what i think i'm doing and what i am doing yeah um, i often feel that i'm kind of sitting back and, yes and i don't feel go forward enough yeah so my arms are always out here yes um so where that's true people know that from seeing the video yeah so, definitely so it's a good one straight away for that so this is good already because immediately my arms are now swinging down below me. Yes. Okay. So great. hold your left thumb in your right hand, and you yep. it, and swing back to me like your normal back swing, and, and then up all the way. Yeah, yeah. But that's okay. You're aware of it, and that's yep. the whole point of doing the exercise is an awareness drill. Then back down and through. Yeah and see what we can do, yeah? Okay, yeah? And again, it's just over a period of time, John, you just get more and more aware of how much body movement you're making. That right foot slows better, yeah, okay? Yep. And eventually I expect you to be less movement, yeah? Um, you're standing a little bit too far away from the wall, that's more than a foot, oh, yeah? yeah? Foot. Yep. And okay. even with your size, 20 yeah. shoes. What size shoe are you? 13. 13. I knew it was a big size, but the size 13 shoe, you're not that far away. So once more. Yeah. So much better. So it's a very quick awareness drill, more so than uh, I've got to do that every day. Yeah. Yeah. And that's not going to be the be all and end all. But it's the sort of thing you can do at home. Yes, you exactly. Can, you can do this against, yeah. the, against the wall in the yeah. bedroom or whatever. Kitchen wall, perfect. Yeah. Every time the, the kettle's boiling. We're doing the cup of tea drill. We might exactly. as well extend it now. Extend it into the wall drill. Okay. Um, there's another one. We okay. need to go this way. 
Quick right. bit of fading out on the camera. Yeah, we can do that, man. And if by magic, we'll be back in. <laughs> right, uh, if by magic, quick fade in and out. We're Just, back in the room. We're, or, or, or more importantly, outside, outside the room. Outside the room. Um, very quick uh, drill involving that window, which is doubling up as our mirror. If your driving range has got mirrors, fantastic. If not, you don't really have any excuse because any reflective surface will do this. And if you hold my camera there, or okay. your camera, and stand opposite me for one second, John. What I'm looking for in the window, so if you move slightly to your right, is I'm just got my left ear against the left hand side of the window frame. As I swing up and down, I can clearly see every bit we've talked about. And more importantly, why we're doing this drill, because of, yes, there is a bit of bobbing around going on. So you standing in front of a mirror or window, watching yourself swing the club is great, because it also gets rid of one thing that I find a lot of people do, and that is, where's it gone? Yeah? And, yeah. Before I mind that I yes. spend a lot of time looking where Up. it's gone because yeah. I've not got the confidence. Definitely, to yeah. So. Whereas I'd prefer you to just stare at yourself, and, and again, often we say about the difference between you and me. Um, and one of the biggest differences between you and me is our hair. You know, I've got yeah, no yeah. hair, my ears stick out. So I'm looking at both my ears in that window, yeah? And as I come through and out the shot, I'm still looking in the window, yeah? Okay. Um, you're gonna just stare at your little face there in that window and hopefully be aware of the movement to start with, yeah? Okay. Come on, have a go. Let's do that again. So yeah, just okay. It, Ready? So from there, throw. Uh, what I don't want to be seeing is, oh, hang on, I'm out of frame, yeah? I certainly don't want to be gaining height, dropping height. I'm looking at trying to maintain height all the way through. Remember, no one's head stays perfectly still. Less is more. And so, Go for it. So we're just on the grass outside the pro shop up at Radnor. Um, that's it. But if you face hitting down towards the driving range, it'll be even better. That's all right. Yeah, you just did a different drill. Go for it. That's it. And throw. Carry yeah, on, Sam. So you probably the window drill. Yeah, get, window drill. Well, all right, how are we doing? Window. <laughs> Quick, go! <Okay. laughs> go again. And we've also got the lovely sunshine now, which is good. Yeah, and it, it's so much better the movement. Go again, I'm out of the way. Perfect. Good one. Really good, like that, Matt. So it's simple enough drill. We're going to round this off quick because we've got more people coming down. Yep, okay. But fantastic. Thank you very much, Matt. So that's no lesson seven and a half, and we'll do a, an overhaul next to explain Perfect. to people what we're going to do in the future. Ideal. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. It's good timing. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it was only ever meant to be a quick one.